Be a proud believer. Be a proud believer. When I say a proud believer, be happy to be who you are. If you have to dress in a certain way, Alhamdulillah, I will do it and I will make a difference. I remember back in the day, we had to grow a beard. And mashallah, I was looking forward to it, but at the same time, a little bit worried about what everyone's going to say because nobody had a beard besides one or two guys at the college I went. And subhanallah, it was not so easy because you're a youngster. You want to have it, but you're fearing what people would say. And then I remember, because I lived with it, people started saying, wow, that's cool, man. That's cool. It suddenly became cool. When I grew a little bit older, a little bit too late, it became a trend, subhanallah, right? Trendy. But back in the day, it was almost taboo to grow a beard. Look how the Almighty changes things. Today you see people from all walks of lives with lovely beards, mashallah. They look at your beard and say, I like your beard, bro. That wouldn't have been the case some time back. That's going to happen with the hijab as well, by the way. May Allah grant us ease. My beloved sisters, my brothers, don't give up what you believe firmly just because of what people may say, have said or are saying. Not at all. We're stronger than that. We believe. We're firm. And the Almighty will bless you in so many ways as a result. And not just you, but your children, those around you, your loved ones. And if He has not given you so many family members, He will have granted you something else. Look for it. Try and think, how did the Almighty bless me? Wallahi, I want to share with you something amazing today. It's a verse of the Quran where Allah Almighty says, and I'm sure we've heard it before, but if we haven't, here goes. And if you are going to try to count the favors of Allah, or if you're going to count the favors of Allah, you will never be able to count them all. That's the meaning of the verse. What Allah has blessed you with, you will never be able to count all of those things. If you want to start right now, you're going to have to start with your faculties of hearing and perhaps your sight and whatever else it might be, your organs, your limbs, your bodies, everything. And then you broaden the circle. You will never be able to count the favors of Allah upon you. But I want to tell you what is more amazing than that. The opposite. If Allah has tested you, you are able to count the number of tests in your life. Ha, subhanallah, isn't that amazing? Ask yourself, what challenges do I have? What negativity do I, do I have? What problems or issues do I face? I swear you would be able to count them on your fingertips. You can say, I've got this problem, this problem, this health matter, this issue at home, this issue at work, this, 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 nine things, I'm done. But what about the billions of things that are a favor of Allah that you cannot count? Man is so weak that he becomes despondent due to nine things that he's challenged in or tested in and he loses track of the millions or the countless things that Allah's blessed him with. That's man. You concentrate on the one negative. It shows your body is fine. Nothing wrong with it. But the mosquitoes bitten you in one place. That itself is the source of depression. Why? That bite is on my nose. The whole world sees it. 